Hello friends. This particular question appeared in the IIT Jam BL 2018, and uh, its key was released. And according to uh, the key, the answer is B. That is of the question number this 17. The question is which one of the following combinations showing chromosome numbers? Please remember they are asking for the chromosome numbers. And second thing is the in the human being is correct now there are certain cells are given one is the ugonium one is the fibroblast cells at the g2m uh, g2m transition egg before the fertilization and the sperm in the sperm we all are damn sure yes it is 23 no problem because the human system is having uh, 2n condition is equal to 46 so obviously this is a haploid haploid means 23 no problem and then we talk about the ugonium ugonium is the starting starting of the oogenesis so obviously this should not be the answer means we are cancelling this particular answer now the confusion is these three choices according to IIT, uh, IIT jump authorities they are giving the answer answer number two but uh, as the key came most of our students and the teachers they start giving the representations that answer D is correct but when I went through the uh, literature and the different sites and the research papers I find the answer should be C for the support of this particular choice i am just explaining why i am going for the answer number c let's start now first of all uh, let me uh, clear about the chromatid and the chromosome there is nothing like two separate terms both are same the reason being the chromatid is basically unduplicated chromosome and the chromosome what you know it's a duplicated chromosome which are having a pair of sister chromatids so first of all make it clear that chromatids and chromosome they should be interchangeable except this particular term undu unduplicated and duplicated i just went through the different sites and the literature uh, during this whole uh, process and i find such type of diagrams here again uh, it's a very good book uh, i think uh, some genetics book is, is there the unduplicated chromatid is basically chromosome with one chromatid they have they have mentioned it the duplicated one is the chromosome with two sister chromatids okay both are chromosomes again on one more side one chromosome this is one chromosome and this is also one chromosome this is again one more side is there and this one chromosome is having two sister chromatids now uh, some of you get confused with the homologous chromosome homologous chromosomes chromosomes are basically the pair of homologous chromosomes means these are two systems like this this is the sister chromatids this is sister chromatids they are joined together with the with this particular centromere and uh, they themselves are non sister chromatids for each other they are sister chromatids for each other sister means those who are originated from the same or uh, they are joint they are sister those which are not joined they are non sister so first of all make you very clear that chromosome numbers whenever it is asked don't get confused with the chromatids and chromosomes now the next thing uh, we will have to choose out of these three choices now the confusion is this 92 or 46 next confusion whether this should be 96 or 46 then uh, next i'll be coming for this one also so first of all i just concentrate uh, i'm damn sure out of these three choices obviously uh, the answer is out of these two which one is correct whether it is 46 or 92 i went through uh, the other literature and before starting all these things i would like to introduce myself i myself harimon thakuria i did my msc from a school of life sciences jnu in the year 2000 it was here in 2000 uh, last time when i appeared for the uh, csir net i got second rank with the 77.5 percent marks obviously there should be i should have an authority why i am saying why i am explaining such type of answer you should know uh, why you should follow me or why you should trust me uh, before that i also qualified the csir net i think it, it was in 11 2011 after every five year i appear for the net i am sorry uh, to many of you students who are watching this particular video I'm again sorry that I am just wasting one seat. But uh, the reason is I will have to update myself. How, where exactly I stand, where, how exactly I am performing because I'm go, I, I'm, I myself teach students for the CSIR net. Uh, in the 2003, this was again, I think GRF qualified. Uh, I'm over age, actually this is when net LS. Here again, it was my first net qualified when I was in Namda hostel. 
it was a beautiful hostel in the year 2000 year 2002 also qualified jrf uh, right now i am running adhar institute in jaipur uh, besides adhar institute we are having an online application i guruji uh, through which we are providing the distance learning program through different videos what we i have made if you have any problem or uh, suggestion or uh, you think that i am right or i am wrong do whatsapp me or call me at this particular number during the office hours uh if you like this particular video uh if you are convinced do share uh, share uh, either on facebook or youtube or whatever you have uh, or on whatsapp you can comment on this youtube video please do comment and uh, while commenting please just refer your designation what exactly you are if you are a teacher please mention you are teacher at particular uh, university particular department or particular college if you are a student please do mention your identity Uh, that will be helpful for all the viewers who are wa watching this particular video and uh, obviously uh, there are certain uh, people who are not convinced with me they can whatsapp me on this particular number i am just thankful to them if they can suggest something to me now coming to this particular question again on uh, here b and c choices uh, whenever i see the duplication means what whenever we talk about the cell cycle we have g1 as g2m it is g1 as g2m whenever something move from here and move to s phase they should duplicate but what exactly is getting duplicated it is the dna but not the chromosomes please remember the chromosome number is still maintaining its consistency because first of all let me define the chromosome here is the particular uh, rule for the defining chromosome whenever you want to define the chromosome just count the number of functional centromere because the definition of uh, chromosome means one telomere telomere should be there a single centromere and then the second arm even if this is the such type of situation this is a single chromosome please remember as i have mentioned here also i have mentioned here this is a single chromosome these both are single chromosome now uh, coming to the next so dna is getting duplicated in the s phase and the uh, right from the g2 to up to n phase this whole cell is maintaining the du uh, duplicated form of dna say for example the dna started from 4 this will be maintaining its 8 8 8 8 like this dna is maintaining eight number but chromosomes they will be uh, up to the metaphase the number will be same because centrum from the centromere they have not split at the anaphase they have split in two chromatids and again chromatids and chromosome are same so in the anaphase the number of chromosome get doubled now again uh, when they get undergo the cytokinesis they will be having four and four means obviously it is two and two and again but uh, while defining then please remember you are actually talking about the dna but not the chromosome so <clears throat> here we talk about the fibroblast and here i have mentioned the uh, some somatic cell how exactly the division occur in the somatic cell and your fibroblast is somatic cell so during the g2 to m phase the chromosome number again remember chromosome number will be the same as in starting so this will be 46 automatically the uh, choice will be the c but uh, still we will have to convince you for what exactly about the egg before fertilization for this particular choice i will have to choose again out of these two why this is wrong and why this is right obviously i will have to make this uh, c choice correct uh, for this i just went to the gilbert gilbert chapter number 7 and they have clearly mentioned that in the different organism the uh, at the time of entry of the sperm the egg is in different stages either it will be primary oocyte metaphase first metaphase second or meiosis completed now whenever they are in metaphase second the chromosome the, the polar body is attached over here the uh, here the chromosome pattern is actually equal to the somatic cell numbers i am talking about please remember i am talking about the numbers now you may ask me question how exactly the whole thing happen because as soon as the sperm will enter this particular cell will divide Uh, obviously this is the larger one this particular cell will divide and this will become n and one more n one n will become another cell, another polar, polar body and this n is going to become the final thing uh, which is the egg pronuclei but when the sperm has entered and the question has been asked the egg before fertilization egg before fertilization fertilization means the fusion of the 
मेल प्रोन्यूक्लियाई एंड द फीमेल प्रोन्यूक्लियाई तो इट इज जस्ट बिफोर दिस जस्ट बिफोर दिस देर आर दिस इज एन एंड दिस इज ऑल्सो एन एंड एन प्लस एन आर एक्चुअली द टू एन the situation will be 2n and n means here i am talking about the chromosome here i am talking about the chromosome and 2n chromosome is actually the 46 this will be the 46 this will be 46 obviously you are convinced with this and this is a 46 you are convinced with this particular diagram and the sperm obviously it is 20 through 23 to support this particular my uh, particular logic of mine i have just went through the different research papers and this was a news published in the science magazine you can just go through the i have just put the address of this particular news and it was clearly mentioned just before the fertilize just before the normal fertilization and egg chromosome consists of the two identical copies that is called chromatids chromatids and chromosome are the same please uh, just learn it or uh, go through again your uh, uh, literature or the websites or whatever you have when the sperm enter the egg egg nucleus goes through all the final nuclear division and the chromatid separate from one another please this is the situation i am talking about it is clearly mentioned in the literature so just give your comments whatever you think whatever you have uh, perceived and whatever you have gained from me thank you very much